Welcome back to Fixing My Faith. And today's poem is called The Rutherford Trance. So for those of you out there in the world uh, that don't know who Rutherford is, Rutherford is the ground zero for the Jehovah's Witness organization. So in my book, Judged Out of Truth, I give Rutherford the most pages because he's a phenomenal, a phenomenal character. A brilliant mastermind. He uh, took this uh, religion that Russell, the founder, had in 1870. And he got involved uh, in the late 1800s uh, studying with Russell because uh, Rutherford uh, didn't, uh, was having his ins and outs in the judicial system. He was a temporary judge, but he wanted to be more. And so he latched on to Russell because Russell hated the Catholics also and was uh, condemning the Hellfire Doctrine, so uh, Judge Rutherford got involved and uh, gave him another reason to hate the Catholic judge that wouldn't allow him to be superior. So eventually, Russell uh, got Rutherford into the organization in uh, 1906 when he was baptized. A year later, he took over the legal system, and then Russell rolled all his assets into the organization. Rutherford did all this work. So those two kind of had a secret relationship uh, and the secret relationship throughout the term was due to their uh, womanizers. Both were womanizers. Uh, Russell had two girlfriends, two affairs, a uh, divorce. So that's what was happening. Russell was going through a divorce at the time, and he needed someone legally to, because he was a multimillionaire according to today's standards. He had a lot of money, a lot of worth, and his, he just had two affairs. And you can imagine those rich, wealthy men, they're all nice-looking men, tall and prominent-looking, good speakers, both of them. So uh, there's lots of opportunity for them to be unfaithful, and so they both were. Um, Russell did do a divorce and uh, uh, he, uh, to hide his assets from his poor wife, he rolled it all into the not-for-profit and had Rutherford do that all. So a year later, Rutherford became in 1907 a legal advisor. And uh, Rutherford also was the same. When he became president in 1917, his wife left him and he had the brothers build him a mansion down in San Diego. And uh, there's, there's enough evidence to show that he had, he had a King Solomon set up. He had a harem. He had seven houses around his mansion and women in them all. And um, I talk about that in my book. <laughs> But uh, it's quite interesting when you go to Ground Zero. So here this mastermind uh, went to jail because he hated the governments and uh, put him in jail uh, along with all the other Watchtower followers. And then he made the religion in jail, came out of jail and uh, uh, he cut his losses with the Bearded Russellites, banned all the Russell's books by 1927, and then he took over. And everything he said went. Russell used to do Christmas, birthdays, all those things. You could have a beard and smoke a pipe, whatever. But when Rutherford came along, clean-shaven, militaristic, uh, First World War era, uh, hates the governments, hates the religions, especially the Catholic, he made a religion, he litigated a religion out of the Bible. And he, uh, like I said in my intro talk, he took the word truth and twisted it. And everything has a twist. There's a little truth in everything. That's why a lot of us got sucked in for 30 years. There's, a, there's enough truth in everything that's taught that it sucks you in. But when you get out and you start picking apart everything, it's just so clear. So I made a song out of it because you, there's no use blaming uh, this elder, that elder, the governing body or anybody because we were all in the Rutherford trance. And I'm coming from the standpoint that the bo governing body is still in the Rutherford trance or they would be doing what, what the uh, Mormons did, the Latter-day Saints. They made some drastic changes. They walked away from the old beliefs and changed their religions and sure they lost uh, a bunch. Just like Rutherford did. He, he walked away from Russell, lost a third. The governing body today is going to have to make some changes and you will lose a third. You, a third of these ones are in there just, just for the adoration. Uh, we're now in the information age. Everything's online. There's no adoration anymore, no large assemblies. Rutherford loved uh, to have 250,000 people packed into the New York Stadium, have it all broadcasted all over the earth. He was a man of adoration. He loved it. And he wouldn't allow anybody to edit any of his work all the way up until 1942 when he died. He printed the first article of every watchtower. His writings, his thoughts. He'd wake up in the morning and write that, and that's twice, twice a month that was pumped into the organization, inculcated. And his beliefs, this is ground zero. This is where the virus started. 
So once everyone realizes ground zero, we don't blame anybody. We blame Rutherford, and it's fun. <laughs> so here's how fun it is. Follow along. The Rutherford Trance. This is a song that will not last long. It will, take, it will make you smile for just a little while. It's about a man who was charged for sedition. He was put into jail, then made up a mission. He was mad at the governments, so he called them the beast. After two years in prison, this was not the least. He, ha he hated the religions, and he called them the harlots. He made them the bad ones, the evil little charlots. Everyone dance, dance, dance to the Rutherford trance. Let us all dance, dance, dance to the Rutherford trance. The Rutherford trance makes everyone dance to his own tune, bringing spiritual ruin. The Rutherford trance always makes me worry being late for a meeting, so I'm always in a hurry. When Armageddon comes and destroys those ones, you will live with anticipation and end up in frustration, waiting for the end as your mind they will bend. Let us all preach, preach, preach to the Rutherford dance. Everyone teach, teach, teach to the Rutherford trance. Let us all sing the Rutherford trance because the Watchtower says it's our only chance. Our message is cunning about Armageddon coming. If you prove your worth, we offer paradise on earth. If you, if you get on my good side, you can be my bride. You can be the heavenly class if you kiss my brass. Let us all dance, dance, dance to the Rutherford trance. Everyone dance, dance, dance to the Rutherford trance. The Rutherford trance makes everyone dance to his own tune, bringing spiritual ruin. Now, the truth will set you free. Just wait and you will see. You will be tested for your fitness, then become an outstanding witness. When I go out in the service and knock on your door, I will tease you with paradise, making you want more. Let us all trust, trust, trust the Rutherford truth. Everyone wants the truth, but they can't handle the truth. Who is it that gives you your spiritual food every month? Who is it that gives you the leadership you deserve? Who is it that has taken this organization to the next level? And you question me about truth? Who are you to question me about truth? You keep pounding me to teach the truth, the truth, the truth. But I said to you, you can't handle the truth. The truth about God, it's a lightning rod. It's all really the same. Why all the questions? They're all just lame. But you keep asking me for the truth? I said, you can't handle the truth. Okay, if you insist, I will give it to you. I will give you the truth. I am the truth. I am the truth. I am the truth. And don't forget it. You will know my truth and my truth will set you free. There is one problem there is a small fee. But here's what we'll do for you. We will help all to see the beast and the harlot having a feast. They are so uncouth, but at least we have the truth. The truth is from the scriptures. It's my own special mixture. Let us all dance, 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 and I will give you a second chance, chance, chance. We believe in chance when we do the Rutherford dance. Everyone, dance, 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 and by chance, 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 you're now in a trance. The Rutherford trance means you have to take a stance. Yes, no beards, nor Christmas, nor birthdays, nor fathers, nor mother's days. You will make new ways. Forget about your past. Come sing with me and we'll have a blast. Your full allegiance is now to me. I'm God's channel. You will see. I better get to work, so don't be such a jerk, using up my time, don't be such a slime. But if you take a chance, I will take time and show you our stance. Make me proud and become my crowd, just dance with me and you will see. Sickness and death will be a thing of the past, let's finish preaching and then go get smashed. Come to my mansion for your spiritual expansion. The Rutherford trance will make you want to dance. We will have some whiskey, it will make us all frisky. Everyone, do the Rutherford twerk. Just shake your body, don't worry, it's not naughty. Everyone, twerk, 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 and feel the Rutherford perk, perk, perk. I promise if you twerk, it will not hurt, so just twerk, twerk, twerk. 
Yes, I'm Judge Rutherford. Some call me a jerk, but it feels better when I just twerk, twerk. Yes, I'm Judge Rutherford. I have the Rutherford trance. Without me, you don't have a hoping chance. I'm Judge Rutherford. What did you think? I could have you charge and throw you in the brink. I will show you in the Bible that will make you all liable. If you're all clean shaven, my kingdom will be your haven. Dance up to the boxes and drop in your donations. If you pay enough, I will save you from damnation. Let us all dance, dance, dance to the Rutherford trance. Everyone dance, dance, dance to the Rutherford trance. The Rutherford trance makes everyone dance to his own tune, bringing spiritual ruin. You will love the trance of the Rutherford dance, because I said so. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did making it. But uh, it is quite, uh, quite a bit like that. <clears throat> it's a trance. And um, uh, when I was 18 years old and, and I got into studying the truth book, and, and all that stuff came from Rutherford, nor. Uh, that was all past right now. And um, it, uh, it is a bit of a trance. You know, you get in there, you think you're the only, you have the truth. It's, it's quite, a, quite a feeling uh, to realize that you're hand-picked on earth and uh, Jehovah God directed these brothers to somehow select you, hand-pick you out of, out of the world of mankind, out of 8.5 billion people on earth. Me, Vern Hull, I was picked, I was hand-picked, and I was led to the truth. So, um, we were taught that the truth is everything, uh, everything else out there is false. So once you get to that point, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of a euphoria that, that builds up inside, and it, is, it becomes a trance, and we, uh, we live that trance for 30, well, for as long as we're in it, and that's why I believe the governing body is still in the Rutherford trance. I believe people that leave the organization like me I left for 10 years and I was still in the Rutherford trance I didn't didn't really take the time to check it out maybe I was too lazy I was afraid mostly I was afraid we have the internet we're in the information age and the the organization has made apostasy uh, such an evil thing that any members in the organization aren't gonna go on the internet like me even I left the organization I was thrown out kicked out demonized I still did not check the internet because is, this trance, this Rutherford trance was so, so powerful, so powerful. It stuck with me, it lingered. Even without going to the Kingdom Hall, it lingers, it's in your back of your head, you think it's the truth, you think it's the truth, you keep, your brain keeps uh, throwing that back at you. Until we take the time uh, as, as adults, not babies anymore, adults, and with the information age. And if, you don't, if you're not good with the scriptures, you're not studious, you don't like that, just click on the internet. There's a lot of Jehovah's servants on there. These are messengers from Yahweh, uh, in my opinion. Um, Lloyd Evans, uh, I talk about that, that one young man, I forget his name, the truth hurts, but uh, I, my wife and I'll sit down and just watch these guys, just for entertainment. And, uh, and we're learning at the same time. We're learning, we're undoing all this stuff that was taught to us through the organization. So it's just so fabulous that Jehovah has now uh, sent a relief. I, if I would have known that in 2012, and if I would have been free to do that, I, I would have I spent the last 10 years in this trance. And it's ugly because there's periods of anger and uh, it just doesn't feel good. There's a disconnection inside our heads. We have to fix it. And this is what my channel is about, fixing my faith. So I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, live your life with love. Thanks again. Thank you.